In this video, I will show you another example of Thevenin equivalent circuit with dependent source. This is the reference for the given circuit. Electric circuits, 9th edition, Nielsen and Riedel. Example 4.10. For this video, I will assume you know how the current flows in a circuit. You have the concept of open circuit and short circuit. You know how to apply KVL in a loop, KCL in a node. How to deal with mesh analysis and nodal analysis. If you do not have clear idea, of those concepts please check my videos and clear your doubts find the thevenin circuit or thevenin equivalent circuit from the following network across a b terminals this is a terminal this is b terminals and we have to reduce this entire network to a thevenin equivalent circuit that means we will have a and b terminals and we will reduce the entire network to a single resistor RTH in series with voltage source VTH when a circuit contains dependent source while reducing that circuit into a Thevenin circuit we use this formula RTH equal to open circuit voltage VTH over short circuit current I n to calculate Thevenin resistance. Now look at this circuit. This is somewhat different circuit. This circuit contains two dependent sources. This is 3 V x and this is 20 I. I is the current flow through this 2 kilo ohm resistor where V x is the voltage across this 25 ohm resistor. Now see we can divide this circuit into two portions. This is the left portion and this is the right portion of the circuit this left portion contains this independent voltage source of 5 volt therefore the current that will be supplied from the left to right if i denote that with i x you will see for the current i x there will be no return path as the current from left to right will not have any return path the current i x should be equal to zero so in the circuit current through this path will be equal to zero now look at the right portion you will see there is no independent voltage or current source therefore the right portion cannot supply any current to the left portion therefore the current in this direction will be equal to zero so the currents in both ways are equal to zero that means from this point to this point there will not be any current flow in this direction or in this direction now this is our node a from a to b terminal the voltage across this 25 ohm resistor is vx to calculate rth we have to calculate open circuit voltage vth this vth will be equal to open circuit voltage vth which is equal to vx now see as this is our node a if i apply a shop's current law at node a you will see this 20 i is outgoing and we do not know the current through this 25 ohm so it should be outgoing so here i will get 20 i plus vth over 25 equal to 0 from which i can write 20 i is equal to minus vth over 25 therefore i will be equal to minus vth over 500 as vth and vx are equal therefore i will get minus vx over 500 and this will be our equation number one now look at the left portion the current will be flowing in this direction so this side will be positive and this side will be negative in case of 2 kilo ohm resistor if i apply a shop's voltage law in the left portion i will get plus v 
माइनस टू थाउजेंड आई माइनस थ्री वी एक्स इक्वल टू जेरो हेयर आई इज इक्वल टू माइनस वी एक्स ओवर फाइव हंड्रेड So in case of the circuit, the thevenin voltage V T H will be equal to minus five volt. After calculating the thevenin voltage, we will calculate short circuit current. That means I will connect A and B terminals with a short path. Okay, and the current that will be flowing through this short path will be I A B. or not on current i n so the current through the short path is i n this is our a terminal and this is b terminal now see as we have short path between a to b terminal therefore in a short circuit voltage across the short circuit is equal to zero now see vx is the voltage across this 25 ohm resistor which is in parallel with this short circuit therefore due to short circuit vx will also be equal to zero previously i told you that the current from left to right or right to left in either ways will be zero therefore if i look at node b i will see this 20 i current is incoming and this in is also incoming as the voltage across this 25 ohm resistor is equal to zero because vx is equal to zero there will not be any current flow through this 25 ohm resistor or you can consider it like this if i have a resistor like this which is in parallel with a short circuit there will be no current flow through this resistor all the current will follow the short path therefore we can ignore the 25 ohm resistor now if i apply kashop's current law at node b you will see this 20 ampere is entering 20 i ampere is entering in is also entering so i will get in or short circuit current equal to zero from which i will write short circuit current in will be equal to minus 20 i let's say this is our equation number 3 now look at left side this should be positive this should be negative i can apply kvl in left side if i apply kvl in left side i will get Plus five minus small i into two thousand minus three v x equal to zero. Due to short circuit, v x will be zero as this is a dependent source. Three v x will also be equal to zero. Therefore, I will get small i is equal to. Five over two thousand, which will be equal to two point five milli ampere. I n is equal to minus twenty into small i. Small i is equal to two point five milli ampere. So short circuit current will be minus twenty into two point five milli 
ampere or minus 50 milli ampere previously i showed you the thevenin voltage vth in the circuit is equal to minus 5 volt so we have vth which is equal to minus 5 volt we have short circuit or not on current equal to minus 50 milli ampere we can calculate the thevenin resistance rth which is equal to vth over in vth is equal to minus 5 and in is equal to minus 50 milli ampere 15 to 10 to the power minus 3 so this will be equal to 100 ohm see here vth is negative therefore the negative terminal should be in upward direction and positive terminal in downward direction and RTH will be in series with VTH and this will be our Thevenin equivalent circuit for the given example.